head are removed and uh, the first thing you'll see is that it's very wet in the crankcase which is not a bad thing at first but uh, I already have a, an explanation for that so I'll show you in a bit the head looks fine but it's still flat these pits were already in there from the beginning so nothing's wrong here I think there is a bit of side movement on the cylinder in relation to the connection rod there is some side play but I think this is actually normal and actually needed but I'm not sure maybe it's too much I'll have to check there is also a little bit of side movement uh, in relation to the connection rod and the crank itself but here I also think this is needed but maybe it's also too much the cylinder itself is still as it was so I'm glad there's nothing wrong with that because finding one of these is really hard and expensive but the very wet crankcase is probably due to this the so the gasket in between the cylinder and the block is actually wrong I'm not sure how I didn't see this so yeah the gasket is wrong that might also have been the a cause of the bad throttle response so I'm going to try and cut one myself based off of this but then with the correct ports after an hour of swearing cursing and cutting I've actually made two gaskets, but I broke the first one and uh, I didn't get it on footage as well. I have to really work on uh, my camera setup here. I think there might be something wrong with the memory card. But anyway, we've got a gasket now. and I think that might have also been the reason uh, why the throttle response is so bad, because half of the port here was actually blocked. So now this should be fixed. So I did some research and some testing and measuring and I think the needle bearing is worn and or the pin is worn in the piston. So there is a bit too much play I think which makes the rattling noise. Also the piston, the pits, you know, there are a lot of damage on top of the piston and um, I've tried looking for another piston to replace this one with and a new set actually complete with pen and uh, needle bearing but i think chances are higher to win the lottery than to find a an original dx piston which is in a okay or good condition so what i am going to try and do oh so another note on this cylinder what i found out i didn't know that this coating on the inside of the cylinder is uh, not Nicosil as it's as the normal cylinders are these days. This is actually a chrome coating, and to use a chrome coating in the cylinder, you need a another type of piston or actually another material and another material for piston rings. You can't use regular piston rings uh, on a chrome coating. That's why it's also so hard to find a piston and or rings. So what I'm going to do, I've found a guy that might be possible to do a recoating of the cylinder. So basically what will happen is they take the cylinder and put it in an acid bath or anything that eats away the chrome coat and then they reapply a new coating of Nicosil. If that works, I can use a new piston from Wiseco. They have replacements that are this design, but another material. If I can find that one, and if I can make this coating work, then I might be able to fix or keep this cylinder, because I really want to keep it. It's nice and it should drive nice. So I'm going to, I've already removed the carb and everything that's mounted to the cylinder. The only thing that's left is to remove the studs for the exhaust port. And that should be it. If these are removed, the cylinder is ready to go to the shop. So let's take these off first. I'm going to use double nut and I'm also going to heat the cylinder. Hopefully the studs come out. If not, I might have to ask the shop if they can remove them, but we'll see. At least we'll try.
So the studs are out, cylinder is in the box, old piston, needle bearing is in the box. So let's put everything in the car and let's go. Yes. It's the very next day. So yesterday I brought the cylinder and the old piston to the shop. They said they might be able to give it a new nickel coating, but finding a cylinder will be uh, finding a piston, I'm sorry, will be hard. Um Wiseco might be able to reproduce them, but they only make orders out of 10. So I'm not, you know, 10 pistons is not that helpful. I might do it too to have one spare one for the black one, but uh, 10, you know, I don't have 10 RD50s. <laughs> so, but um, the guy in the shop also told me another thing that was some sad news. The pitting on the piston might actually be from the uh, connection rod big end so the bearing in there the big end bearing might be coming loose or is um, destroying itself and little pieces of the cage of the bearing cage come out of the um, they come loose of the cage itself they flush with the fresh uh, air and fuel mixture to come up up through the ports and into the cylinder and uh, these pieces make these pits in the piston which is a bad sign it's not a hundred percent sure that that is the problem but I don't think I'm going to risk it due to the rarity of these engines and if the bike is this nice uh, I wanted to ride as nice as it looks so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the engine out again and i'm actually going to split the engine take the crankshaft and connection rod and uh, take it also to the same shop because he is able to press connection rods from their crankshaft and uh, replace the bearing this is something I don't, I can't do myself because I need. There are some special tools required and a press which I don't have. So yeah, it sucks, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to take the engine out, split the cases, and take the connection rod to the shop. Just let out the reasonably fresh oil and uh, I think this engine has done 20 or 25 kilometers after that but look at this so uh, ignore the bubbles but it has a very weird color I've never seen that before that's one and also I think that's metal that is in there so I hope this metal is actually from the big end bearing, which we are re replacing anyway. If not, well, then I think we are replacing every bearing. I uh, hope I will find something when we split the cases or open the clutch cover again. Maybe there is something in the clutch that's wrong. I don't know. I hope this won't be too bad. So I'm actually trying to check with a magnet if these are actually metal shavings. But uh, there's definitely some metal in there. You can see something floating. <laughs> the white substance substance doesn't seem to be reacting to the magnet, so I'm not sure if that's metal, but I can definitely see 
some chunks, well not really chunks, but some bits following the magnet. So there's definitely metal in there, which is not good. What a sad sight without an engine. <laughs> I didn't expect, expect this build to go like this, but hey, like I said before, I'm going all, all out on this bike, so I wanted to ride as nice as it looks. If you're wondering why the rear wheel is out of it as well, uh, I've actually swapped them for the black one because uh, somebody is interested in buying it because uh, I've got a hint from another bike that I have been searching and wanting for a very, very, very long time. So. If everything works out, the black RD50 will be gone. And I've swapped wheels because uh, I've promised to um, mount new tires and uh, clean up the wheels because uh, the tires on the black one are a bit worn. They're actually a bit uh, rod dry rotted as well. So as I'm running out of time for the black one, I've just swapped them. And I'm, then I can take the old wheels from the black RD50 and respoke them as well and put these in uh, in Kenny. So that's the plan. Hopefully the deal goes through and I will be able to get one of my dream bikes. But if that happens, you'll see it in another video. So we got the engine out. Sad sight. This is the big end bearing. Apparently, when the cage is going out, there's not actually, um, there shouldn't be any play in the direction that the piston moves. That's normal because the needles that are the bearing uh, still are in the uh, in between the crankshaft and the uh, connection rod, so their spacing is actually still okay. But maybe it has a bit of it should have sideways play that's normal but it's actually ha it actually has some play uh, at an angle so maybe that's a giveaway that the cage of the big end is going out i don't know so yeah the plan is tear the whole engine down split the cases and uh, take the crankshaft out and take it to the shop <laughs> 